hello students are you ready for a new topic children now observe the images and try to guess our today's topic I hope while observing the images you may have got the hint of our today's topic. Yes children. It's interview. Children, interviews have become a very important part of our modern lifestyle. They are referred to a one-on-one -on -one conversation between two or more people. A toddler has to undergo an interview to get admission in kindergarten later in life a person appears for several other interviews mainly for a course or job once in a while we even see celebrities interviewed on television channels and other social media before we proceed ahead let us study what is an interview children basically an interview is a conversation between two people the interviewer and the interviewee where questions are asked by the interviewer to obtain information from the interviewee now you might be thinking who is an interviewer and who is an interviewee so let me clear the concept to your children interviewer is the person who conducts the interview and interviewee is the person who appears for the interview now who is an interviewer a person who is trained and experienced to do interviews and ask you questions children an interview is framed in three parts first welcoming the interviewee second questioning the interviewee and the last third one concluding the interview i hope so far everything is clear i hope so far everything was clear now let us proceed and study the points to remember children while conducting an interview it is important to keep the following points in mind first write down the purpose of the interview that is why the interview is being conducted next frame suitable questions to get the required information third arrange the questions in proper sequence or order you can say there should be a flow or continuity in the pattern fourth point avoid asking double questions see that your questions do not repeat next the questions should be worded in clear terms next ask open ended questions now you must be thinking what are open ended questions so let us see children an open ended question is a question that cannot be answered with a yes or a no open ended question are phrased as a statement which requires a proper response example where do you want to be in 5 years children to answer this question you cannot just say yes or no you have to give a statement the answer to this question varies from person to person and can only be answered with a unique perspective that usually prompts a longer conversation now following other question starters for open ended questions you say what do you do if what do you think about why do you think so children the following questions you need to think and then you need to give the answer next point avoid questions with obvious answers example do you feel happy when you receive the award the answer is obviously yes next there should be a variety in framing the questions example use words like what where when why etc next the questions should reflect courtesy 
and should not sound rude or arrogant children what do you mean by courtesy to show politeness towards others meaning of rude being harsh unmannerly impolite meaning of arrogant a person or someone who is full of self importance acting like he is the best and the last point always begin the interview with a greeting and conclude with a thank you children please see that you revise what you studied today and practice it thank you